100 for 100, the podcast where now we take a hundred films that I think every new movie watcher should watch at least once early on in their movie watching career, and I rank them. I rank them from 100 to 1, because what else are you going to do when you listen to these joints? And uh, and I come in each one with a 100-word review, and this how podcast. One a day, we put out one a day for the first 100 days of 2020. Uh, yesterday, we talked about one of uh, one of the goats of pop culture, that being Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction. Uh, make sure you sit down and you check that bit of business out if you have it. If you have it, what are you doing listening to this now? Go away with you. Are you back now? All right, then. Today, we're talking about number 37 on our list, and that is Inside Out. 2015 directed by old Pete Doctor over there, one of the greatest names of any director I've ever heard. Um, let's get into this 100-word review of Inside Out, shall we? <clears throat> Exploring a concept as wild as what if feelings had feelings? Inside Out rings as one of Pixar's most emotionally turbulent films, matched only by its beauty and its humor. A healthy exploration of the human psyche, Inside Out is almost therapeutic as it uh, delves into the concepts of handling joy, sadness, fear, anger, and disgust. Directed brilliantly by Doctor, who also directed Pixar's other smash hit, Up!, the film's themes of coping and adapting with situations is a complex story for the parents in the audience, but presented gently enough for the film's younger viewers to grasp and understand. Man, look when uh, well, let me let me let me get there. I'm gonna I gotta build up to that bit of business. Uh, this is an amazing movie. I took my took my little one. To go see this, and I was not expecting much out of it. I really don't pay too much attention when I'm in a Pixar movie. That's right, I said it. Um, but man, this this bit of business right here. This is brilliantly animated, beautiful looking. Um, the voice cast on this is absolutely ridiculous. You said uh, Amy Poehler as Joy, which you know, coming off of uh, the overly optimistic character she has as uh, as Leslie Nope on Parks and Rec, that kind of makes sense. You got Phyllis Smith as Sadness, um, and yeah, you, that, that's another of that ilk coming out of the office. Um, Louis Black as Anger, it's kind of what he built his whole shtick on. Minnie Kaling is Disgust, and her number one <laughs> gif when you search anything is her with the disgust face from Office. They got a great cast on this. Um, you got uh, Diane Lane, Kyle McLaughlin, and there's a Paula Poundstone. That's right, comedian Paula Poundstone. Forget about her, didn't you? Uh, Frank Oz up in there as well. John Ratzenberger making his usual appearance. So many people in this. So many people in this. All putting in stellar A-rate performances. And just seeing the growth uh, and maturity of Riley throughout this movie is amazing to watch. And then you get Bing Bong. Oh, Lord, the Bing Bong scene. Oh, oh. <laughs> excuse me for a second. It uh, that when she uh, when when she has to you know shed the memory, Joy has to shed the, the, the memory of Bing Bong in order to to get out of the sticky situation that they find themselves in. Man, that uh, that hurts because you never really for for kids who had like imaginary friends or something like that, like a Bing Bong type character, you never really remember when that kind of just falls by the wayside. Is is never really a conscious decision. It's just something that happens. Um, and seeing it happen in a situation like this, uh, how it plays out is Pete Doctor knows how to pull those emotions, man. Between this and Up, I don't know which one is. I think Up has the first few minutes of just emotional wrecking. And then, you know, the rest of the movie is, you know, fun. This is just, it's just punching you. Body shots all throughout the film. But still so good, so good. And you end in such a better and healthier place than where you begin on this movie. That's one thing I really like about it. There's some significant growth and change out of this. Um, yeah, make sure if you haven't, check out uh, number 37 on our list, Inside Out. <laughs>